So James, tell us a little bit about South Lake Town Square. That seems to be the, uh, the city center. So back in the late 80s, uh, when South Lake was being developed and um, you know, th these neighborhoods started to be built, again, most of South Lake was these ranchettes, you know, five acres or more. Then th uh, the city reduced it to one acre minimum. And then in the early 90s, they allowed half acre minimum home sites to be developed. When that happened, the shopping and restaurants, which we didn't have hardly any here uh, for the longest time, Brian Stebbins, um, who was a, a resident of South Lake, came up with the idea of, you know, we need um, a town center, a place where you can come and do shopping and, ha and go to restaurants and office potentially because everyone had to leave town to go to their office. And, you know, you'd be looking at a 30 minute or more drive to get to your office, wherever that might be in the Metroplex. So he came up with this idea to, to go to the city and talk to them about building a, a, a town square and having the uh, main uh, off our main buildings of the town, uh, the town hall, uh, the mayor's office, uh, the city council offices and meeting rooms, library, um, planning and zoning, all the different offices that that uh, are needed when you have uh, a city that is growing, like it like it has been. And so uh, the city council approved in the early 90s to build uh, this uh, town square that we have. Uh, you'll see some pictures of it shortly. But it was done in two phases. So the front phase was done in the late 90s. Uh, I think it opened in uh, 99. And um, then the second half, the, the half closer to 114, that was opened up in uh, 2006 to 2008. And so we had uh, this expansion. Uh, we've built parking garages. Uh, so everything on the first floor in Town Square is retail. Above it, uh, which there are multiple two-story buildings around the Town Square, we have a gazebo, we have a band hall, uh, there's a small lake, there's a big kind of park area in between the Town Hall and the, the band hall or the gazebo, and so that's where the community comes together and hangs out and they have all kinds of event, um, events and festivals in the town square. There's an, we have art in the square, we have an Oktoberfest. Um, there's just, seems to be something going on about every weekend here. And then we have great shopping and uh, we have a, a hotel, uh, we have um, a new activity center that we've built here. So it's a great place for the community to come together and meet, shop, eat, and uh, even office. Yeah, and some of those restaurants, uh, you, you, it's interesting. You know, I always, when I think of the suburbs, I think of Chili's and I think of Applebee's, <laughs> right? And, I, and, it's, and it's one of those things where you think of it in terms of, okay, I have to give this up because I'm doing it for the kids, right? Because why else would you come out to the suburbs? You know, so you're doing it for the kids and then you have to sacrifice. But South Lake is different. Because the restaurants, Moxie's and, you know, all these great restaurants, they're actually, you know, these are, these are really well-known, you know, uh, I would say, you know, up, upscale uh, and unique restaurants. So, you know, when did that trend start? And I'm, I'm just so glad that that's something that you can experience as a resident here. So while they were building the, the town square, their aim was to, to be upscale. Right, the whole focus was this is different. This is a different community, and uh, we really wanted to, uh, you know, provide those uh, boutique and uh, experiences that you could have here. And and we don't have a Chili's and we don't have an Applebee's here. Um, we have these upscale restaurants, so you could stay here. You didn't have to leave town to go experience fine dining. That was brought here, and that's been a focus of the city council, really, the, the whole time since they started developing the town squares, is changing the image and creating
creating an environment that you didn't have to leave to find you know good dining uh, experiences and um, so that's kind of been ingrained in this uh, community for you know really for the last 20 years or so